Leader of the Alliance for Change, Kemraj Ramjatan, is calling for the revocation of the radio and television licenses issued by the then President Bharat Jagdeo in 2011. Ramjatan was on the picket line today in front of the Kaicho News as he joined private media practitioners. He feels the broadcasting authority should be given a clean slate to work with. But Cabinet Secretary Dr. Roger Luncheon is defending his government's decision. The AFC leader believes that such an approach will spell problems. And that is why people are going to protest. That is why the vexation is going to get hotter. And that is why it could lead to things that same Roger Luncheon and them going can't deal with. And then they will run to the parties and beg, please, we want your help. They are playing and provoking this populace into that which they can't handle. This kind of thing is stealing. It is rabid theft of what is called the spectrum by a president and he did it knowing that we cannot in any way prosecute him because he was president. The protest comes after the shocking revelations in the National Assembly about who got what and their association with the ruling party. Glenn Lal, publisher of Kaisho News, who has organized a protest, said he's prepared for the long haul and is getting the support from civil society. And unless um, Donald Ramatar do something or say something about this injustice that has made it out to myself and that of my, my colleagues, I don't know where this thing will end. It's unfair. Absolutely. I mean, it is, it is a, a, a matter of national concern and therefore Red Thread is going to be out here supporting it because it is totally out of order to, for, for the government or the former president to be promoting this kind of monopolizing of, of the spectrum, which is, which is part of our national capital. And it has to be dealt with much more fairly and equitably. What is going on here is the loss of rationality and sanity. Some practitioners who criticized this government and had applied were told that they have to reapply for their licenses. The Private Media Practitioners Association is calling for reversal of what they deem as lawlessness on the part of the government with the distribution of the radio and television licenses. Reporting for Capital News, Royston Driggs.